first one of these, and I would have worn concealer um, if I knew I was telling the story. Um, but this is um, one of the one of the worst Christmas dinners that I've ever had. Um, so basically, uh, this was before my parents got divorced. I'm a child of divorce, yes. Um, but literally begging for attention on a stage, if you couldn't tell. Um, and so um, we would do this dinner every year at my grandma's house on my dad's side, because you know, like patriarchy, whatever. Um, and we would usually go over to her house and it'd be like the big gathering of all my dad's like relatives and they're great it's awesome um, but my mom's dad had just passed away the year before so they were kind of like what are we gonna do um, and like all of all of my mom's siblings are like sp spread about and like in LA and in Virginia and whatever and so we were so my mom was like well we can bring my mom to the dad's side dinner and they and we all know each other we're all friendly there's like no no bad vibes or anything like that um, and so she, they were like, oh my gosh, yeah, just like bring Sarah Lou, it'll be great. Um, an important detail of this story is that Sarah Lou has very severe Alzheimer's, um, so she doesn't really know what's going on a lot of the time, and this was like in the earlier stages. Um, but we're like, oh my gosh, bring her to dinner, it'll be sweet, it'll be great, it'll be lovely. Um, I'm about probably, I'm uh, actually, I'm 15 at this time because I had just learned how to drive. Um, and being gay, I am bad at it. So <laughs> it was, <laughs> and, and I, yeah. Um, and also, if you couldn't tell, incredibly nervous about everything. So driving, like, really was not for me. Um, and I had just gotten my learner's permit. I really did not even want to drive, but my parents were like, you're driving to school. We're not driving you anymore. It's a 30-minute drive go take your shitty little car and go. And I was like, okay. So I had just gotten my permit and we had to like log 50 hours, whatever. So Christmas comes, Christmas comes. It's, it's, it's all going well, it's going fine. Um, but uh, sweet little Sarah Lou, she, she is like four foot 11, small little Southern woman, little pixie cut that she's had since 1965. Very sweet. She, not remembering anything, um, has maybe one too many glasses of wine. And we're all kind of like walking around, checking. Everyone's like, how many glasses did she have? <laughs> I mean, we know. And they're like, nah, she's having fun. It's great. It's great. And so we're, it's progressing. We're about to eat. We're about to eat. And Sarah Lou, my Nana, uh, comes up to my mom and is like, I don't feel good. <laughs> and my mom's like, well, um, did you eat something or did you maybe just have eight glasses of white wine? <laughs> um, and she's like, I think it's probably the second one. Um, so my mom runs over to me. She's like, Maddie, 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 we have to take, we have to take your Nana back to the nursing home. Um, and I'm like, uh, uh, right, right now we're going to do that. <laughs> we're going to do that right now. And she's like, yeah, but I, I had two glasses of wine, so I can't drive, so I need you to drive. And I was like, mm -mm, no, <laughs> no, I didn't. It's like they didn't even give me the official hour, so I legally can't drive you. I, I can't. <laughs> it wouldn't be good. She's like, Maddie, Nana has to go to the nursing home right now. She's going to be sick. And I'm like, okay. Okay, let's hop in the car. Um, <laughs> awesome. So we all get in the car together. I am sitting in the front seat, just like literally shaking. I'm like, okay, we're gonna go drive. We are on Christmas. It'll be fun. Um, <laughs> And we're driving and we're driving. My Nana's in the front seat. My mom is like yelling directions from the back. And I'm like, I don't know where to turn. I don't know where we're going. I don't want to go on the highway. I don't, I don't want to. And my mom's like, Manny, just drive. She's going to be sick. Sarah Lou goes, I am going to be sick. <laughs> <laughs> and I turn to her. I say, Nana, do you need a bag? She goes, I need a bag. <laughs> my mom is flying around the back seat. She's jumping, moving, throwing books, magazines, whatever the hell she has back there. She finally finds a little like Target bag or whatever, throws it up to my Nana. And she, because she doesn't know, she doesn't know what to do with the bag. So <laughs> she just like, <laughs> she's like holding it down here and you like hear her like gagging and we're like, the pull up the bag. Pull up the bag, pull up the bag, hold it here, hold it here, hold it here. And she's like, oh, 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 I'm gagging, I'm gagging. We're like, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And my mom is like reaching from the back seat, trying to hold this, literally around the back seat. You know how it has like the headrest? She's reaching around, holding the bag in front of her mother's face while she throws up eight glasses of white wine. <laughs> um, and my mom's like, pull over, we gotta pull over. She's, she's yakking, you have to pull over right now. And so we pull into like a Burger King parking lot. Um, and you know, Sarah Lou just keeps going at it. Um, but she finally like understands enough to like hold the bag up to her face. 
Um, and then, yeah, we drive back, and I'm obviously still really freaked out. Um, as with the driving alone would have been enough, but you add that on top of it, and you're kind of like, ah! <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> um, and then we, <laughs> and then we just mosey on back to dinner, and everyone's like, so where were you guys? I was like, we just went to Burger King. It wasn't a big deal. <laughs> and that's <laughs> the worst Christmas dinner I've ever had. <laughs> yeah, Maddie Breskin.